welcome back to Health Net Nutrition. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Today's recipe I'm very excited about because it was inspired by one of my favorite restaurants in Toronto, Tironi's, and I don't know if there's an S on the end, but Tironi, and it's delicious. Everything in there is amazing. It's not the healthiest, but it's definitely somewhere I go to indulge. And one of their dishes I had recently was a like crisp mushroom uh, salad on top of a bed of arugula it was so good I knew I had to recreate it so here it is my version of a warm crispy mushroom salad I think you guys are gonna love it it's gonna impress your family your friends it looks fancy but it's really easy to make I promise so let's hop right into the recipe and I'll show you guys how to make it to make our cheeseless Parmesan you'll need some raw cashews nutritional yeast Italian seasoning onion powder and garlic salt and then in a high speed blender or neutral bullet, you're gonna throw in all your ingredients and pulse until you got like a fine Parmesan kind of consistency. I literally did it for like this many seconds and it was done. <laughs> I was like, oh my God, it went way too fast, but that's the texture you want. For the salad dressing, you'll need some cold pressed olive oil, balsamic vinegar, honey or any sweetener of choice, Dijon mustard, sea salt and black pepper. In a glass salad jar, you're going to throw in all your ingredients and give everything a really good shake to help emulsify all the ingredients together and give yourself a really creamy salad dressing. I also love making my salad dressings in a jar because you can like kind of make it ahead so it gets nice and flavorful or if you don't use it all, you can just throw it back in the fridge and have it for your next dinner or salad. Time to prep the mushrooms. I've been obsessed with mushrooms lately and these shiitake mushrooms are amazing. And of course, my king oyster mushrooms, which you guys know I'm obsessed with. You'll need some olive oil, brown rice, breadcrumbs, the vegan Parmesan that we made earlier, some extra black pepper and sea salt, and arugula is gonna be the base of our salad. And if you haven't had arugula, it's kind of spicy. It's awesome, I love it. So in a strainer, you can gently rinse your mushrooms. Some people don't like to run them underwater because they absorb the water. You can just use like a wet cloth and wipe them off as well. I just lightly rinse them. You do not want to soak your mushrooms and then I tap them right off right away with a clean paper towel to take off any extra moisture and rub off any extra dirt that I see. Just be sure to be very delicate because mushrooms are a delicate root. I was going to say vegetable, but they're not a vegetable. They're kind of a fungi. Mmm, <laughs> delicious. Okay, you're going to chop these up. I'm taking the little ends off the shiitakes, but you can just kind of chop them up in large pieces um, because you, we're going to bread them, lightly bread them after. So you don't want them too small that they're going to disappear in the salad. Add all of your clean sliced mushrooms into a big bowl, drizzle some olive oil, toss gently. You then want to just add your salt and pepper to the breadcrumbs, give it a quick stir before dusting it on top of your mushrooms. You also want to add in some of your vegan Parmesan and this is just going to give a really good coating to your mushrooms and get it nice and crispy when we bake it in the oven. I just use my hands to toss it because if you were to use a um, like a tongs or something like it might break up the mushrooms. So like I said earlier, just be very gentle and give it some love with your hands. Transfer to a parchment lined cookie tray and then you're gonna pop it into the oven on the lower shelf to bake until it's golden and crispy. As always, the full directions for this recipe will be on my blog, healthnutnutrition.ca. I'll have a link for it down below. You can share it, print it, or make it tonight for dinner. And then once your mushrooms are all nice and crispy, you can take them out, let them cool, and start prepping your arugula salad. So basically you're just throwing a bunch of arugula in a bowl and then drizzling on that salad dressing that we made earlier. Give it a toss with some tongs until everything is evenly coated. Toss on your slightly cooled crispy mushrooms. You don't want them too hot because they might wilt the arugula. And this is definitely one of those salads that you want to enjoy right away while everything is still nice and warm and crispy. I like to have this either as a main and just serve myself a lot of it, or you can have it as a side to another main dish that you're serving yourself or your guests. Now, if you didn't love mushrooms already, I think this salad might just change your mind. 
So that's going to be it for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys recreate this recipe. If you do, as always, use the hashtag HealthNetEats so I can find your photos and like them and share them and just, you know, make my mouth water because I love this salad and I cannot get enough. Don't know why I was doing this. You couldn't see, but I was. And as always, don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And don't forget to subscribe. You can do so by clicking right here. I post weekly, so that way you won't miss a single recipe if you guys subscribe. Thank you so much for watching and supporting my channel. I love you very much, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye! wow so thank you guys i will see you guys in my next one and have a fabulous day wow this is things are getting crazy and fancy fancy hands for a fancy mushroom salad and everything that you guys have done there's crazy thunder happening you could be the 100,000th person that subscribes to my channel and i would love you forever but i also love the first person who was probably my mom i don't even i don't even know who the first person was